Sometimes there is a song that finds you exactly when you need it. The perfect tune to help you through whatever currently ails you. A flash in the pan moment of healing and inspiration. And sometimes, sometimes that song keeps coming back to help you out again. And again. And again. Some songs are timeless. Some songs, well, they might be just the ticket for helping you through 2023. This is about one of those songs. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is a video about this year by the Mountain Goats. I don't remember exactly when I first heard this year by the Mountain Goats, maybe around 15 or 16, but I definitely remember the feeling I had when I loaded up the music video. I don't think I'd heard of the Mountain Goats yet, except maybe for John Darnielle being on Aesop Rock's track Coffee, which is a total banger, by the way. I remember it making me uncomfortable. I almost turned it off. The video opens with some haunting strings as a group of ominous folks with weapons drag some tied up bodies into a room. It was a creepy few seconds, but then I was greeted with the glorious, hopeful sounding piano chords that kick this year off. John and his bandmates are untied and given instruments, and he sings the opening line, I broke free on a Saturday morning, I put the pedal to the floor in his distinct, slightly off-kilter voice, and it was like I was struck by a lightning bolt. When the chorus kicked in, oh, that chorus, not only was I hooked, but I was, without realizing it, gifted with a mantra that would successfully carry me through every single difficult year to come. But we'll get back to the chorus in a minute. Real quick, if you haven't heard of the Mountain Goats, they are a band from Claremont, California, led by singer-songwriter John Darnielle. Most of the time, at least in the early years, the band was just John and his acoustic guitar, recording really lo-fi versions of his songs and singing his damn heart out. His songs are some of the most poignant, interesting, sometimes really weird songs that I've ever listened to. Most of the time now, he plays and records with a full, amazing band. Bleed Out, their latest, is fantastic, and if their old, more lo-fi tracks aren't really your thing, and you like some good old-fashioned, badass rock and roll, definitely check it out. But originally, it was that old stuff that just really spoke to me. After finding this year, Teen Joe went on a deep dive and listened to every Mountain Goat song available. Those old recordings inspired me and made me believe that maybe I could do something similar. Every song I've ever written could probably be attributed to that initial inspiration. And while the Mountain Goats have written hundreds of amazing songs, there's something about this year that I've never been able to really shake. It's basically been stuck in my head, in my very soul, ever since that fateful night at my computer. So. What was it about this song that hit Teen Joe so hard? Well, at a show in the Bowery Ballroom in New York, New York in 2011, John Darnielle described the song like this. This is a song about how sometimes you are living in a house and you're in high school and your stepfather is abusing your mother and you... <laughs> and it really sucks. You have to take a lot of drugs to deal with that, right? Well, you don't have to, I should say. But, but you probably do. And, and, and when you do, they make you feel marginally better, but the main thing that makes you feel better is the company of other people who are as damaged as you are or will shortly become as damaged as you are, and you can sense it. Because there is an internal sensor if you bear some damage. You have this sensor that says, that person is either damaged or is getting there, and I think I will hang out with her until things get a little brighter. I play this for a lovely person who wore a cape to school, and it's called This Year. And, well, I've never had a step father, but I had a rotten stepmother, and I was dealing with a lot of the things he's describing in that audio clip. The verses resonated with my own life. An angry young boy who wants to find ways to not be that angry anymore, right? Hanging out with a girl, playing video games, hurting his knuckles when he lashes out against inanimate objects, and drinking nasty-ass Cuddy Sark whiskey smuggled from a classmate's basement. 
who had spent years dealing with a terrible step-parent. This was all stuff my angsty ass was able to connect to instantly, right? I was stunned. People can write songs like this? This is real, man. This guy gets me. But then that chorus, that ringing bit of hope, and I'm not going to play the chorus here because I'm worried about getting demonetized. And hey, I'm really close to hitting a subscriber goal for the year. If you're enjoying my impromptu New Year's Eve ramble, hit that subscribe button, maybe? But yeah, that chorus. I am going to make it through this year if it kills me. I am going to make it through this year if it kills me. Forgive my singing. I realize that on paper, those words could look dark or morose. A depressing declaration of survival. But when you hear it, he sings it with so much conviction and hope and manages to make it sound so damn uplifting. It's a chorus made for screaming along. And Young Joe latched onto that, and I have been screaming along at the beginning of every year since. There is a really good reason it surged in popularity on TikTok at the beginning of lockdown. Give the song a listen if you haven't. I've linked several versions of it below. The one with Stephen Colbert is especially fun to watch, and it might just speak to you the way it does to me and be another weapon in your arsenal for making it through 2023 and beyond. So there's a good chance that as this video goes live, I'm at a friend's house, surrounded by the people I love so, so much. There's a good chance that Crowberry set up the karaoke machine because what is a New Year's Eve without karaoke, right? And I'm probably going to drink just slightly too much. And there's going to be a moment where I get to look around this house filled with nerds and weirdos, some of the best people I have ever met, and be so fucking thankful. I made it through this year, and it didn't kill me. And it's, it's partly because of them. I have never felt like I have so many people in my corner before. It's, it's a little weird, you know? And you know what? It's partly because of you too. Everyone who has watched my videos this year and my patrons. And wow, I'm actually feeling really hopeful about this channel in the coming year. I'm going to make some videos I've been really excited about. And I think you're going to like them. 2022 was really hard on all of us. There's a good chance 2023 isn't going to be that much easier. But you know what? Tonight, I'm going to walk up to the karaoke mic. And I'm going to queue up this year by the mountain goats. And we're all going to scream along at the top of our lungs. It's an anthem. It's a pledge. I am going to make it through this year. And you are too. I love you. I'll see y'all soon.